The question of how to deal with plastic waste may no longer be a problem. This is because a Ghanaian entrepreneur, Mr. Nelson Boateng, has found a way to convert plastic into pavement blocks, which is seen as the perfect way to clear the plastic from the gutters and streets while creating jobs for some unemployed youth in Ashaiman. For many years, city authorities have struggled with how to deal with plastic waste. It is estimated that only 2% of the about 22,000 tons of plastic waste generated annually in Ghana is recycled, with the remaining 98% finding its way to landfill sites, drains, water bodies and other open spaces, including the streets. While many have called on the government to properly regulate the use of plastics, others say an outright ban of the product is the only way out. In the face of these challenges, Mr. Nelson Watting, an entrepreneur, has come up with a novel idea and innovation in the construction industry to end Ghana's headache with plastic waste. This innovation is expected to create jobs for hundreds of unemployed youth. According to Mr. Boateng, he buys the plastic waste from waste collectors, sorts them out and melts the plastic, and then mixes it with sand to make pavement blocks. The equipment used in the manufactured by himself. Currently, he is only able to produce 200 blocks per day and employs a total of 78 workers. He believes that with the needed support, he can produce more and employ more youth while dealing with the plastic menace. The support we will have from government will be very beneficial because currently. We are having 63 workers, directly, indirectly is, is 500. So you can imagine if this support comes in, the number of jobs we can create for the people of Ashama. And even we will take it to every district to do it so that we can clear off this plastic waste. Mr. Nelson Boateng and his team have started paving some bad roads in the Ashaiman municipality with the plastic pavement blocks to test their durability. Using 80% of broken plastic products and 20% of sand to produce the 12-inch square pavement blocks, the product is said to have a lifespan of 500 years. The Ashaiman Municipal Chief Executive, Mr. Albert Ochri, said government will support Mr. Boating and his company under the One District, One Factory agenda to produce more. Uh, we've given allocation of a plot of land. Uh, for this very particular factory. Uh, we've shown it to him and uh, work preparation on the grounds have started. But we are only waiting for the ministry to come with a support in terms of the area where a bank will have to come in. There are selected banks that have been uh, assigned to various uh, one district, one factory projects. And I'm sure soonest we should see our monies flowing. This novel idea to clear the streets and gutters of plastic is being hailed, especially with Ghana struggling to properly manage such waste. And Mr. Nelson Boating seems to have found the way out to turn trash to cash while helping to reduce Ghana's unemployment rate.